So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your Quiddy software and get started with slicing and all that stuff. So this is the Mac tutorial. We'll also have a Windows tutorial up too. So we're going to go ahead and download the Quiddy software. So this Quiddy print software, just go ahead and click it and it'll take you to where you need to download. So since we're using Mac, we're going to go ahead and download Quiddy print for the Mac and you'll see this Google Drive page pop up. Go ahead and click on this download and then just go ahead and click download anyways and down here you'll see we're downloading our Quiddy print file. So for a test file to print we're gonna take our T3 logo and we're gonna go ahead and use that as a test file for our Quiddy software. So when you click on the link you'll be brought here to the T3 logo printable uh, in Thingiverse. Let's go ahead and click download. And don't worry about this. The download will start down here. Right now to set up our Quiddy file, you can either click here on Quiddy print or go into your finder. Click on download and it should be right here. Go ahead and extract it. Double click and it'll start extracting. And now let's go ahead and extract our T3 logo. Just double click. And you can just leave this for now. We'll open it in our Quiddy software. So go ahead and double click on your Quiddy software. And you'll, you might get this pop up. You just click OK, it's fine. Go ahead and select your printer. I'm just gonna show you the Quiddy one for now. And you can go ahead and just click close. Now you'll see this little tutorial pop up. Can go ahead and read this i'm just going to keep clicking next okay so for most of the printers everything will be the same go ahead and change your temperature to 230 and that's pretty much it make sure you have pla selected to get our t3 logo in here you can either drag and drop it the stl file or go into Go click up here to open file. Go to your where our T3 logo is. So T3 logo printable files and then T3 logo STL. Go ahead and omit that and you'll see we have our T3 logo. To start slicing, just click prepare. And then click save to file. And you can just go ahead and leave this as X3G since we have the Quiddy one selected. And this is where you would go and save it to your SD card. So if you want to know how to switch printers in the software, go ahead and just head up to your where it says the printer name, click it and you can change it right here. Now the X, the X Pro and the X Plus use the same file type. So if we go ahead and slice it and hit save to files, both the X Pro and the X Plus are both .g code. So just go ahead and save that to your SD card and you're good to go.